of the, uh, I think 50, 40, 43 of the 52 are new, are, are, are newly added to the tenure of that. No, 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 those are, those are now, will be tenure for that. And this is important to say, it's not just the whole of the route, what we are making sure, the whole of the route now might not be running at tenure or done service. But we're saying that after this, it all will be. But there are, there are parts, say, for example, of the set of factors, those branches, which might not run ten minutes or better. The service we're adding makes sure that across the whole of the route, it's ten minutes or better. Uh, I think there are uh, 43 new, uh, I think it's 43 uh, new routes. <coughs> service, I don't know, I'm not sure the term you use, enhancements are coming as part of this. So that means going to be a chunk of the bathroom bus route, it might be the entire pharmacy route. Kind of thing. No, we were not. Uh, in large part, this is the only question. I think we're here today because the, uh, we're going to be discussing at our upcoming board meeting. And so the specifics of this route are up before us now. They're online for everyone to see. And this, again, the commitment was made for the dollars with the budget, but obviously there's specifics. Same with the uh, off -key. Same when we announce what the express groups will be. You have to actually announce what the specifics will be. I, I do think, though, that the TTC does sometimes take a, a bludgeoning from the assembled masses here. And it's important to also stress that we're making uh, significant investments in transit, and we'll continue to do so. Yes, uh, I am the 23rd. Uh, uh, the CEO and I will be going to Bay uh, to visit the Bombardier plants and to also uh, speak with Bombardier officials and Bombardier workers. Uh, so obviously stress the urgency on our end of uh, why we need these uh, vehicles as soon as possible, but also just to see with our own eyes, um, you know, what, uh, what status, what the status is here under the I think it's. I think it speaks sends a message to them. It speaks to how serious we are about this matter. Um, we do actually now. Now that we're gone, we even have Lombardi employees who want to speak to us. And I think they want to share a story with us. But I think that um, we we try. Uh, I would say everything within our our our, our uh, legal toolbox to impress upon us how important this is. And I think it sends a strong message to uh, Lombardi that how serious we are when we show up on the doorstep. That is still a plan, and obviously that's something you want to discuss with them. Thank you very much. And the routes obviously demand, but also they create some kind of network. Same way we would have them, right? So that you don't have a part of the city that's just totally. Yeah. There's fewer short turns everywhere. Yes. Well, it's not a short turn, it's actual. It's a planned short turn. It's a planned short turn. Right. So there would be less than that. It's all about long range and right. amber loop. I can't add. So how many routes will be left that are not in minute frequencies? Like all the rest, are they less? Some of them have 10 minute frequency. It's already. In peak, it's off, but not an off peak. So this. This is an off peak thing, right? Sorry. This, 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 is, this is kind of to create services in peak and off peak. So whenever it is running during the day from 6 a.m. to 1 a.m., you know that I can go on one of these red lines and get a bus and take so But it, it, you're right, it's extending the same uh, level of reliability of frequency that you have in peak to those off peaks in many of these cases. Well, the growth is huge, plus you know, we want to encourage people to get out of this is this is totally, you know, we can't say to people like, yeah, you know, don't, don't use your car, you know, 